So when you have finished everything, you received your feedback, you made your changes, you packaged everything as you should, everything is in the correct order. Now it's come the time to final finalize this project and to send it to the client finally. So how can you do that? Simply minimize this. I'm going to close this folder. Here they are, our delivery files. So inside you should have all the folders that we just created in the previous video and you should also have your Adobe XD file inside. What you should also have is some type of text file. So it's either just a basic text based file in which you will uh, share the link with your client. So you will share the link for example to the online prototype if you want to leave them access to it for a bit more time so that their developer has the time uh, to create everything properly or if you don't want to do that because you just have one link and you have a free version of Adobe XD you don't need to do that because they already saw and confirmed everything you can send them video walkthrough if you want to but if they have Adobe XD file, they can simply click preview and then preview the, that prototype themselves. So it's really up to you how you want to structure that. Also inside of that text file, you should leave the links to the fonts. So we used Open Sans font and you should leave it, uh, you should leave a link inside to where you got it. So if you got it from a Google fonts, you should send them that link. If you download it from Adobe fonts, you should send them that link. Also any images you used. So we used a lot of images inside of this project. So you should send them links to those images just so that you can free up your space to package everything and send everything via email because that's the easiest way. If it's too large for the email, you can use Dropbox, you can use Google Drive to upload it there. And I always recommend you package them inside of the zip file. So inside of Windows, I can simply right click, win zip and add to delivery files. When I click right there, it's going to start to package the files. It's going to start preparing the files and it's going to what's most important of all lower the size of this folder and it's going to be easily shareable for me. So if I click and drag this down, original was 308 megabytes. Now it's 294. That doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, when you have two or three or 500 screens and you have them in various different resolutions, this can easily rack up to one gigabytes in size, especially if you're sending images or some illustrations to your client and those can really rack up and increase the file size dramatically. So I always recommend you package your files inside of the zip file and click OK. And if I drag it right here, this is how it looks like. So you don't send this file to your client, you send this file to your client and they can then unzip it and use all the assets inside, both your client and your developer. So that's it for this part of the course. Thank you so much for taking your time, your money and your resources and invested them inside of this course. I really appreciate it. And I really hope you learned a lot from this course. And in the next video, we're going to quickly jump to some conclusions and overview of all, everything that we've done in this course so far. And once again, thank you so much.